Well, hello everyone. Welcome to a Saturday evening. Maybe it could be a um, Sunday morning if you're in Australia. Uh, my name is Daryl Ledyard, and we want to say hello to those that are joining us from all over to find out uh, what I have to say about getting expired domains. Um, it's going to be a fun one because I love getting domains. <laughs> it's one of my favorite things. I have well over 400 uh, currently, and I usually have about that. Um, I sell them all the time as well, um, just because I enjoy the catch and release. Uh, so, um, George, uh, yes, this will be recorded. In fact, it is being recorded right now. So there will be a replay if you have to jump off. If, uh, if anybody needs to jump off, then you can go ahead and do that. Uh, but we'd love to have you here. We'd love to have you enter your questions inside of the questions box. Uh, we are following that along with, uh, you know, answering your questions. So uh, we'd love to have you guys participate uh, as you uh, go through this. It's it's probably not going to be a very long presentation, uh, maybe less than an hour, my guess. Um, it just depends on how many questions we have, et cetera. So, um, so without further ado... We would like to just say hello to John Doe, Don, George. Um, I got Ed Ryan, a good, good pal. Um, let's see. Is there a need to purchase Elementor Pro, Harlan says. Um, that would be a question a little bit outside of what we're going to talk about here tonight, but not in this situation. No, you're not going to need Elementor Pro um, to buy these domains. Uh, do you the thing is is with Elementor Pro, they're jacking the price up on that, but you have a limited time right now to get it at the lower grandfathered in price, I believe. Don't quote me on that. Uh, so if you are thinking about it, uh, do get it. It is an annual recurring price. And from just the rumors I've heard, they're gonna hold on to that price for those that uh, had it, you know, uh, grandfathered in. Uh, so if you if you have that price, keep it um, and keep it going. Um, I did the I think thousand site license um, just because I don't like to be throttled down and everything. Valerie, thank you for joining us um, as always, and thanks for everyone's participation and all of uh, the community. We do appreciate that. And if you're watching this on YouTube, uh, which it isn't on YouTube right now, but it will be recorded and played on YouTube. Uh, we would like to have you uh, like and subscribe because it, it really helps to get our our uh, information out there to others, make make it more helpful for them. Okay, so let's get going. First of all, the question is, who am I? Well, a lot of you guys already know. I'm this guy right there, Daryl Ledyard. Um, this is before I had my beard, <laughs> but uh, yeah, I'm an entrepreneur, just like a lot of you guys are. I'm a marketing consultant. Uh, a mass paid expert uh, with mass page, mass.page is the website. And um, I'm a domain investor. Um, I buy domains for various purposes, uh, some for reselling and just uh, holding value, um, some for um, brands that I plan to build or uh, apps and things like that. Um, I build them for um, really good quality links, things like that. So uh, I bet a lot of you guys are domain investors or pseudo investors because you have, you know, dozens and dozens of domains. How about everybody on the channel put in how many domains you currently have in all of your registrar accounts? Put in a, a number of about how many domains you have sitting in your account somewhere. Valerie says about 50, about 50, about 30, 100, 20 or so, 25. Ooh, Dominic's got 1,540. He's blowing me away. 100 for George. Wow. That's about 70. Wow. Terrific. Terrific. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> John Doe's got about 50. Super. Well, I don't feel alone. And in fact, I'm going to save this and show it to my wife. So when she gets on me for having so many domains, I'll say, look, uh, Dominic's got 1500. Okay. So leave me alone. I've only got 400. <laughs> All right. 
So what about this webinar? What's this all about? Well, I want to teach you how I grab powerful expired domains without expensive tools and services. Um, this was inspired by something that happened to me last week that I discovered and I looked all over the internet and I didn't see anybody explaining this to anybody. So I was like, okay, here's a golden gem that I'm going to share to my community and, uh, and hopefully that helps. Okay. Uh, there's not going to be any bidding on domains or drop catching. I hate bidding on domains. I hate losing on a bid because somebody goes in at the last minute and tries to snatch it away from me. Um, just, there's nothing that gets me more upset <laughs> than, uh, you know, losing a domain by like two bucks or three bucks or something like that. I know if you do a lot of them, uh, eventually you're going to win some, but, uh, sometimes you end up in a bidding war. And it's just, it just does my head in. So I, I don't really like bidding for domains. I also don't ever do um, uh, back orders. Um, not a big fan of back orders, not a big fan of drop catching. I do back order my own domains uh, so that if anything does happen on a, uh, which is a good tip as well, is to back order your own domains uh, in case what's, something does happen to your, one of your um, brands it doesn't end up in somebody else's hands. Uh, so you don't have to pay unless they really uh, buy it for you. Um, so what we're not gonna do is we're not gonna show you the typical sources of getting domains. So if you're thinking uh, domain hunter gatherer, or you're thinking spamzilla, or you're thinking I'm gonna talk about expireddomains.net, you're mistaken. I'm not even going to touch those domain those uh, sites. Okay, so this is this is right in front of your face. That you're going to be blown away. It's just how much this has been sitting in front of your face all this time. Okay, and I'm going to explain to you why this is this is really cool. Okay, and when I show you how easily I got a 22 Trustflow domain 100% on niche for less than $150. Now you're gonna selfishly not wanna show this to anyone, okay? But it's too late, I'm putting this on YouTube and uh, people are gonna see it. <laughs> so why am I showing this to you? All right, well, I love fishing for domains. It's my passion, okay? This is, of, of all the topics, like this is what I do with my personal time if I got time to blow, I'm shopping uh, for a bigger, better dom domain. I go through and I um, close out domains. Uh, I am currently giving away domains on Sundays uh, with our broadcast that we do uh, uh, with uh, Stephen and I. So I absolutely just love domains. It's real estate and uh, currently, you know, it's very affordable. That could change in the future. And then I'll really clear them out. But uh, currently they're affordable to have and um, you can sell them for thousand X um, I've sold some for, you know, 10,000 X what I paid for them. So, um, it's, it's something I'm, I'm, I really enjoy doing and I like building projects on them too. So, uh, that's why I, I enjoy it. Okay. Um, now I haven't stopped thinking about this technique since last week. So I, I have to share it. Okay. I have to share it. So that, that's why I'm doing this to you with you guys. Uh, some people could really improve their rankings, leads, and profits by knowing this tactic, okay? And because I love giving value to the community, that's the reason why I'm doing this. Um, I enjoy doing it, so that's why I'm doing this. So what do you need to think about? Okay, before we get started, I want you to think about a few things and maybe change some of your perceptions of what you know uh, about this stuff. Okay, because there's a lot of information out there, but I have got guaranteed information because I do this all the time. Okay, so I know this stuff works. Okay, so first of all, you need to sometimes spend some money to get an outstanding backlink and authority advantage with domains. And I'm not talking, you know, hundreds of thousands of dollars or even $10,000. I'm talking some money, maybe a few hundred dollars, maybe you know, a little more than registration. So registration might cost you $10, $12, um, regular registration, but some of these have such good metrics 
that the places that um, are housing these domains or parking them knows that they have good metrics. So they're going to cost some money. OK, I'm, I'm not talking a lot because I'm going to show you, you know, how you can um, find the gems and then, uh, you know, go for it. So. All right. We're going to find uh, let's see. Finding a great domain should not always be automated or left for services to do for you. This is really critical. I look at like Spamzilla, uh, Domcop, all of these types of things. Um, ODYS, you know, these different services, they're great. If you don't have a lot of time, you know, uh, you could find a high domain authority site or whatever. But what I'm going to teach you is quality over quantity. Um, that's going to be my next slide here, I think. Yeah. Backlink profiles are quality over quantity. Not that quantity doesn't matter. Like having a lot of backlinks is great. But even if they're quality it, it's 10 times greater okay so you're looking i'm looking you can do whatever you want <laughs> but what i'm doing is i'm going for quality okay and quantity but quality over quantity if if there is um you know something that's been tricked to have a high trust flow and it's like a 30 50 you know trust flow but it's all like spam links and it's all junk and it's you know um chinese backlinks and all this kind of stuff and just, you know, Viagra, uh, that's not what you want. You obviously know that. Um, but this isn't about that today. You do what you do with um, checking these out and you make your own perception of what is quality uh, for your project. Okay. I, I have what I think is quality and I'll kind of go through it with you, but uh, to each his own on that. Okay. All right, this is controversial, but I'm going to say it. EMD, exact match domains, are not needed to get the benefit anymore as much as they used to be such a ranking factor. Uh, the backlink quality and the, get this, permanency of the backlink is the priority. Okay, when you use these third-party tools, uh, Ahrefs and SEMrush and things like that, you're going to see backlinks that you've lost, right? Uh, those are doing you no good, right? They're they're in the um, the backlink profile history, okay? So when you do any kind of check on Majestic or any of the you know big tools, uh, you're going to want to look for uh, things like that for lost things when you're making your evaluation of the quality aspect, okay? Um, but but when you, when I look at a domain, okay, I'm looking for how likely is that domain, if I put a site up really quickly, how likely is that domain uh, continue to point to my domain, the new one that I'm buying? Okay, what's the most, what's what's it likely that that is going to be more of a permanent link benefit uh, to, to my domain that I'm going to buy? Okay, so those are the things you're looking for is quality, but also something like a directory that's on niche. You know, something like that, that is like, okay, as long as there's not a 404 broken link, you're probably going to stay up, okay, with, with with that, okay? So that's how I'm thinking. Uh, that's how I urge you to think about this. Next is older expired domains, not indexed anymore, will still rank and index within weeks if you build your on-page right. Now, there's controversy about this out there as well, that, you know, older expired domains can't you know, it's going to take a long time for them to come back in the index. That is not what I find uh, with the experiments that I've done. If it's not been indexed, but it's got solid, solid backlinks, okay? Google's constantly crawling the internet and it's finding those solid, solid backlinks. And I know this for a fact because I've had domains since the early, the late 90s, okay? And I've got these domains that are super aged, right? And I could put something on them, which I've done, and they'll, they'll light up like really fast, right? Especially if you've got decent backlinks uh, and you've nurtured backlinks over the years, um, it, it, it can be, um, you know, quite quite good for you. Uh, so so don't think that because it's out of the index uh, that it doesn't have value. Um, you're you're paying for somebody giving you a kickstart. Um, by having a long range uh, backlink profile, 
that you're just going to jump upon and uh, do something with. Okay. So that's where we're at. Is everybody following me so far? You put it in the chat box if you're excited about this uh, in the comments section or the questions. <laughs> Let me know you're excited. Robert says, hey, Daryl, sounds good. Harlan says, uh, have you actually sold domains? That's the question. Uh, have I actually sold domains? Oh, my God. Every week, man. <laughs> every other week or every week. Uh, Don, what's the best way to enjoy your uh, the best way to enjoy your Sundays watching us? Okay, nice. Mary says uh, hi, Daryl. Thank you. George says yes, yes. You're all excited. Okay, waiting for the bomb to drop. <laughs> okay, <laughs> all right. So the question is, this is the best part, guys. How much will this new search method cost you? Okay. Three of the tools that I'm going to show you to do this are 100% free of charge. Okay. Two of the tools that are premium or paid are low cost, $30 or less each, okay? But uh, yeah, that's the, that's the cost of admission here to, to, play, to play this search fishing game uh, my way, okay? Now I'm gonna also show you a second technique that could be done for free depending on what you have in your arsenal uh, or could have some additional costs. Uh, but that's, you know, that's up to you on how you do that. Okay, so the question are is, <laughs> are you ready to do some domain fishing the way Daryl has figured out how to do this? Um, and you're gonna, you're, I'm serious, guys, you're gonna take your hand and put it against your top of your forehead and you're gonna say, drop your jaw because you're, you're gonna be like, wait a minute, that was sitting right in front of me this whole time and I didn't even realize it, okay? So, now, maybe you guys all knew this and you just didn't tell anybody, okay? But, so there's three tools and then two more tools, okay, that we're gonna use in, 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 in doing this, okay? I'm gonna show you the first one that was my breakthrough last week, okay? Now, a lot of people, when searching for domains, use archive.org, the Wayback Machine, to go ahead and take a look at the um what the site was before right some people use it to grab expired content some people sometimes people will grab the entire site and then put it up on their uh domain um i've never done that but people do that all the time right so this is what i discovered and i feel like a fool that i didn't realize this okay but i'm gonna go to the wayback machine and I've always put in a domain in here, okay? But you can put in a set of keywords in here, okay? So that's why this is my my big discovery that, that changed everything because the rest of this I already like have done before, okay? But this is what's so cool about this, okay? If you put in a, a search term, Okay, this is two words I'm just putting in parentheses, okay? Let's put in a search term, disc jockey, okay? Now, I'm going to click on the 500, all right? And now, now, if you do a search on Google, you're going to get a whole bunch of different results than this, right? But this has got captures going from 2000 to 2016, okay? So... What we're going to do with the Wayback Machine is I'm just going to click here and drag all the way down this page. Okay. And I'm going to copy. I'm going to open up another tag and tab. And you can go to uh, Google and do a search for the, this kind of a tool, um, Domain Extractor. Okay. So we're just gonna go ahead, and this is the part I, I, I've done this all the time, right? This is no big deal for me. But this is this is the thing. This is how I found that domain so fast, okay? All right, so now you've got these. These are the extracted from the Wayback Machine, from a keyword, okay? That's the main thing. Now we're gonna do this, which is, this is common sense. We're gonna go into the bulk domain search, okay? 
And we're going to check with GoDaddy. The reason why we're checking with GoDaddy is because they're hooked up with so many different uh, places, okay, for domains, okay? Now, this didn't have too many, but it has it has some. So I'm going to select all, and I'm not going to pay $6,000. So I'm just going to unclick that, okay? Now, GoDaddy's bulk uh, search has this export feature, which I really like. And if you hit this, it's going to give you an Excel spreadsheet of the ones that you just uh, you just picked. Okay. Whoops. Hang on. So bring this over. All right. So here are those domains. Okay. A lot of times I get more, but I'll, I'll show you a technique and where you can get a lot more. All right, so these are all expired and you can pick them up for regular cost. Now, I don't expect this to be too huge because typically my biggest winners come uh, for a few hundred dollars uh, or, or more, okay? But I'm gonna use this thing called Dom Detailer. If you look that up online, I'll give you the link for it later. Dom Detail Detailer is a great tool. And we're gonna use this instead of using Majestic. And I'll show you why, okay? So we're gonna just paste these in here. And we're gonna hit add to text box, all right? What this is gonna do is go out there and scrape as much information as it can on these domains, okay? So what I like about this tool is it has your Facebook shares, okay? And it also has your domain authority and uh, page authority. Okay, which I love page authority for these these types of things. Okay, because it's it's a good indicator uh, of things. And this right here, this domain, Anaheim, Anaheim DJ, okay, has pretty decent stats. Okay, but we're not gonna, you know, we're not done fishing yet, right? If you go fishing, you go fishing for a while, right? So we're gonna repeat that same thing. And I'm gonna show you how we'll do this. And we're gonna keep Dom, Dom Detailer um, ready to go so we can do this again, okay? So you can do this in any niche that you're looking for. And so what I would do is then go up here and type in an S on here, okay? And then hit enter. So we're all you're doing is making it now. The keyword is just jockeys with an S. Okay. We're gonna. It looks like some of the same ones because they're optimized for these keywords. But let's just go down through. I see a lot of the same ones. Let me let me change this around just a little bit more because it might need a little bit more. So I'm gonna put in mobile disc jockey. There you go. And, and <clears throat> what I do, pardon me, uh, what I do is when you're scrolling down this Wayback Machine, there's a lot of keyword ideas that come to mind. But you could also do a keyword research ahead of time and just start nailing this thing with all kinds of different combinations because this is it. Every time you do it, you get a new set of domains that may, may be expired and not readily available anywhere else. Okay, so here we go, back to the domain extractor. We're gonna go in and paste this in, grab these. Look how fast that is, wow. And I'm gonna grab that, I'm gonna go into the bulk domain thing. Okay, piece of cake, guys, piece of cake. When I grabbed that 22 trust flow just like that, I was just, blown away and it literally took me less than 20 minutes to do it all right so i'm gonna do i'm gonna undo this um undo these because i don't think there's a need to pay three thousand maybe i'll keep this one in just in case i might pay two grand all right so if it's really high i'm talking like a 50 uh domain authority all right so i'm grabbing that from another screen all right, and we're going to go to the Dom Detailer again. Um, where is that? Lost my place. Okay. All right, so we're going to paste this in. And what it's going to do is it's going to append what we've got. 
Okay, and there's nice tools where you can export them afterwards, right? So we keep doing this until we find some gold, right? You got some citation flow cooking in now. Uh, you got some trust flow 16. But that would see they, they JDA Mobile. Uh, if we go back here, that's the two thousand dollar one. Do you see what I'm saying? So these guys know, like if you if you go to click on this, whoever is hosting this, um, yeah, I just added it to my cart. Let's let's not put that on my cart. But anyway, um, it it looks like it's being sold directly through GoDaddy, and GoDaddy knows that it has good metrics. Okay, so uh, I'm just gonna continue the cart. And do not buy this. <laughs> uh, I'm going to clear my card out. No, thank you. All right. Anyway. Uh, so, but if it was the right domain, right? Say you were looking for something that had like super serious numbers, right? Then, yeah, you would, you would you'd consider it, especially if you're building a business uh, to get that kickstart for a business. Imagine... You know, you're paying for real estate. A domain is like real estate. And let's say you had a high traffic uh, piece of real estate. Wouldn't that be worth more for business? Sure would. So that's that's what you're looking for, okay? So you, you kind of see the process of of how this works, okay? And you keep doing it and you keep doing it and then you, you, you kind of find gold. Now, I did this for um, the sauna topic. And uh, I got, let's see, this domain here. Saunastop.net, I think it was. And see, here's that 22 and nine. That's what I put on my uh, my thing, okay? And, and it has these different uh, numbers here. Now, that's all great. Like, you're going to get these these stats. Like, after you pile this stuff on, you're going to get these stats and then you got to go somewhere to evaluate it. So uh, this is just the, the uh, Dom detailer is great for just getting the, the high level view. I just like the fact that it's got your Facebook uh, shares in there. It's got your trust flow and all the subnet links and all of that stuff is all right in front of you here. The domain authority page authority, right? Everything's so you can kind of look at it in one spreadsheet. That's what I love about it. The other thing I love about it is it's damn cheap because uh, what I recommend you do is this software um, is just purchase uh, these credits and you just get the lifetime credits, you know, 25,000 will last you a long time for 30 bucks. That's why I said it's under 30 bucks and you just keep running these through, okay? Um, it's a desktop software. Don't think it works on Mac. Uh, it works on the PC. Yeah, I don't think it works on the Mac. All right, so so that's that's the one thing. Now the other thing that's under thirty dollars that I'm going to recommend to you. Now I have Ahrefs, I have Samrush, I have you know Majestic and everything like that. But that stuff is expensive if you're not doing SEO on a regular basis, right? Uh, th those things are pretty expensive. So one of the tools that uh, I've been watching for a little while here is. Um, is Uber Suggest. Okay. So Uber Suggest, I got a while ago. It's Neil Patel's tool. Um, I got it a while ago for 10 bucks. I think it was like a Black Friday deal or something like that. Um, and uh, so I'm trying to think if I uh, go with Google. Yellow. Um, yeah, so this is my, my plan here. So if you go into the, uh, Explorer here in backlinks, that's where you can go and you can take something from Dom detailer and like, I'm going to look at, um, let's look what, look, look at one of these puppies. See, this one has kind of a high number here on majestic for recreation, which is, is something similar it's got some decent numbers. So, but that's the two thousand dollar one. Let's not do that one. Yeah, let's not do that one. Now I regret that I put that on there. Um, 
Utah DJ. And you guys are gonna have a lot of questions, and I I can help you answer them because you're right. It, it, this is all subjective. Some of these might not work directly for you. Some could be a good 301 redirect, um, just to send the link juice to your site. Uh, some could be used as a mini site off of our tool in Magic Page plugin or uh, whatever you might be using to build your mass pages. You can use these just for lead generation. Just uh, set up a quick brand and uh, you know uh, put up a lead simplify form on there and just start drawing in leads after you build out the pages and things like that. So there's, there's a ton of reasons to to have these. Uh, why don't I just take Sauna Stop because uh, you can see why I bought it. I'll I'll show you why. Okay, so if you look at the backlinks, I'm gonna tell you what happened with this. So the backlinks, um, were decent. They were, they were all like, it's got a, like a DMOZ, you know, it's got um, article directories, you know, different things, swimming pools, shopping. So, I was looking at this and I'm like, a lot of these are going to stick. They're going to be here for a while. And some of these have, you know, high page authorities and things like that. And this is exactly the term I was trying to rank for is far infrared saunas or in infrared saunas. So I, I, I got this and I put up a, um, a um, web page for the brand. Wait, this is the brand. This is their main brand. And then this is this is the uh, the site, okay. And I did this with Magic Page plugin and my form and everything. And just real quickly to put something up there, I might change it all later, okay. But um, it it was ranking within a couple of days of building this, okay. Um, that's how powerful when you go, you know, finding quality over quantity, and you put something up. Um, you you can get ranks right away. It was on the first page actually for the area we're looking to come up in uh, on the on the uh, third or second day um, that we posted it. Okay, so that's why I do it this way. Okay, it's it's really a, it's a really a, a quality uh, thing over quantity thing. Okay. All right. So that's the the first technique. So. Yeah, the breakthrough was when I realized that you could do keywords and I knew already how to extract, you know, domains from a page to save my myself time. But the cool thing is the Wayback Machine is a great way to pull in older domains that have snapshots, but they, they might not be real. Okay, so it, it's, it's a cool one. And I checked online like... <laughs> I'm trying to find out if this is like everybody knew this before Daryl. Uh, I was looking for that, but I, I didn't find that anywhere. And I'm not saying I'm you know a genius or anything. This is not genius level stuff. This is just like, let's pass this along to you and show you how to do this. Um, the other thing you can do is I look down through here as I'm going these these keywords and you know, wedding disc jockey service. Now I probably wouldn't have thought of that unless I did some keyword research. But if you go and you put that up here, and you uh, put the parentheses, you're going to get a whole new set of uh, way back um, snippets, right? And so you keep doing this. This is kind of the, how the deep web kind of works. If you're looking to really search stuff that's not on page one of Google, this is the kind of stuff that you have to do in order to, to get down and dirty and find some of these domains that might have been loved back in 2013, but no longer. And you don't even see them on expired uh, domains.net because a lot of that stuff uh, isn't updated, right? So um, if links fall off and if, you know, they don't recheck the trust flow, it costs them money every time they check trust flow. So, uh, and also a lot of that stuff is already picked over. The other thing is I wanna tell you is that what everybody else is doing is searching for the keyword in the domain. Okay, so that's what everybody else is doing, which gives everybody sort of a exact matched domain, right? Or a matched domain to the keyword, but it doesn't pull up all of the brands that and different variations of those words like this will, 
because this is going to pull up domains that like sugar rhythm. Would you have put rhythm in the search? No, but that's a that's a domain that you could do really well with if you were in the disc jockey industry, right? Look at all these domains that that are based on the niche, based on the category, but they're not um, in the keyword, okay? So that's what the secret is here. That's what's special about this, okay? Is that you're getting things from the keywords and they're old, okay? Now, there's other ways you can do this, okay? If you have a, a scraper and you can scrape um, older Yellow Pages uh, sites, okay or directories right or uh you know um places that have uh, uh f like forums older forums you know do scraping on those you can do the same thing same process i've known this whole process for a long time extract the domains you know put them through the the um 500 at a time go through the godaddy process and things like that the the only difference on this particular one uh was that the Wayback Machine, I didn't realize that you could you could go after uh, keywords. A lot of you guys probably already knew that, but I never did it that way. Because when I go to the site, when, when you go here, it says HTTP and, and that's it, right? Well, when I went to the home page, I saw enter URL or keywords. That's when I was like, oh, wait a minute here. If I can enter keywords, I can use this as an is an ancient search engine to go back in time to grab some of these URLs so then I could like I could go ahead and see if there's any life to these. Do you see what I'm saying guys? So that's what's so cool about this this way back machine is that they now have the the keyword search or it's been always there. I don't know. Uh I've been using this blindly for years and I just put the URL in and <laughs> that's all I've done, you know. Check things back. So um so that's that's the one way and of course you're going to have to you know set up your own parameters of what's a good quality link you know what's not i'm not going to tell you this one's the best or that one's the best uh but i i do choose uber suggest i'm paying ten dollars a month for uber suggest because i got on like a black friday deal or something uh it's now up to uh thirty dollars a month um but the thing is is that it has a lot of data uh now that they have uh um let's see here they they now have um uh the uh the keywords so um i'm trying to think of oh, let me do this one this is a project i'm aware of and so then you would see there's uh there's keywords and you can see how many keywords and you can see how they track against the serp everything like that so if you haven't played around with uber suggest or if you're not a fan of neil patel's that's fine but think about this because it's a cheap way if if you uh, are on a budget and you don't have the other tools that's why i'm showing it to you um, as a cheap way to do it if you've got the other tools you're golden go ahead and use those uh because because they're they're great too okay now the the next thing i wanted to show you um is there are other ways to do this. You've got the scraping that you could do, okay, on older websites. But even if you have, um, if you have Lead Simplify, okay, he's got in there a free database of businesses in the U.S., okay, that are um, in these huge database files, these huge files, which are tough to work with, the CSVs, right? And you've got to go state by state. But this, you could go through those and scrape out all of the domains, you know, little at a time. And you could go in and, you know, find which ones, um, uh, find which ones are available and do the same process. Go to, you know, go here and check out the DOM detailer on it. And do, you know, follow the same process. Now, I'm a patient guy. So, I like the I like the hunt. I like the fishing part of it, like looking for the best trophy domain for spending you know twenty hour twenty minutes to an hour just you know messing around and uh, seeing what I can come up with. So hopefully you're the same type of person that you're willing to spend a little bit of time uh, getting in the 
you know, in the weeds a little bit, trying to go through in that, you know, cyclical, uh, you know, check. Now you could probably build a little robot to do the same thing. Like you could get, you know, some of these programs that'll just click, click, click for you. Uh, maybe that would work. I don't know. Um, but at any rate, I, I like to do it myself. This is something I enjoy doing. So uh, there could be a tool in the future that just, you know, does all this. Um, maybe I'll make one. Who knows? <laughs> but I want to show you that this is this is how uh, this is how uh, I was doing it. Now, there's another thing is that now if you're a member of mass.page and you have the enterprise plan, which a lot of these people on the call do have, uh, we gave you advanced um, access to leads detective. OK, and so if you have leads detective. Um, OK. So if you're into leads detective, um, we like I, I was the, the reason why I'm pointing this out to you is because I was looking for an alternative to just kind of show you like here's a few different ones. But I was having a hard time. Um, the only one I found that kind of had the data um, was salesfully it was another one. But a lot of these you had to buy like um, um, you couldn't access it online. OK, you, you had to buy like a, a, a thumb drive or a CD DVD and have it mailed to you with all the business data. OK, and what I was looking for, guys, was older data. Like I want to call these guys and say, look, I want the last 10 years of business data on DVD and I'm going to convert it all and put it all into uh, a, a search engine so that you can go in and do a search and really pull these these suckers down. Right. Uh, we're looking for old stuff. <laughs> so, um, but what I wanted to do is um, we pull from several different data sources for Leads Detective. And I knew that. So uh, I wanted to show you if now, if we go in here and we, we can, you have to pick either wide. So this is, these filters are either going to be, you know, this or this or that, or this and this and that. So this is like a narrow search. This is like a wide search. Okay. So, uh, we have this right here, which is really cool. So if you go to niche or industry, okay, and this is all we're going to search by, right? And let's say we're going to type in attorney, okay? Let's say you had to get an attorney website, okay? So you're going to hit this. And just like that, you have 16,600 and uh, 648 okay and you can hit this download them all okay and here they are they're done you got them all okay now the, this is the reason why i'm showing it to you is because I, i'm having a hard time finding this anywhere else <laughs> if you find something else you know that i'm not associated with that's fine i don't care we haven't even launched this yet so uh, I don't I don't really care if if somebody else is uh, getting referred here, but I, I'm just showing this because if you go here and you're going to grab 500 of these puppies. This is, you know, just using this instead of the Wayback Machine. OK, same same flow, same everything. Right. We're just going to go ahead and grab this and we're going to go to GoDaddy and do this. 500 and search domains. Let's see. Look at the availables here. Look at that. 56 availables because we had so many to choose from. Okay. Now I'm going to go and I'm just going to select all of them. Okay. Just, just to see what shows up. Okay. If you got a personal injury law client, you know, you find a hugely successful domain that you can just pull up, um, it might be worth some money, right? So, so we got 56. Keep in mind, guys, with lawyers or with a lot of these, look at some of these, like this one has the word justice in this. Would you have searched justice? Would you have suggest, would you have uh, picked some of these words? No, civil law firm maybe you would put law firm in but some of these terms you wouldn't you wouldn't have put and if you're just doing a 301 redirect you know it's it's not a big deal as long as they're out of business you know they're not going to come after you 
but don't take my advice on that. <laughs> um, so anyway, so we, we've got the domains. We, we've got them ready to go into the de detailer. We're going to paste them in here. Guys, this is fun for me. I don't know what it is, but it, it is fun looking at this number and seeing what happens when this stuff comes through. I enjoy it. Digging for gold. So, yeah, so let's look at uh, page authority. There's one that's decent. I wonder how much that's priced at. This has got a lot of links. I, I bet you that's pretty high. Very law offices. Um, let's look over here. Facebook shares. Whoa, that's a little too much. But there you go. Now you got something that has some Facebook shares. You got some trust flow. You got something to work with here. So then you have to go back and you see, you know, if you, if, if it goes any, you know, this is this is twelve ninety nine for that. So you get that at regular price. But you'd have to look and do your due diligence uh, on one of the great platforms, and uh, this, you know, you'll be able to really tell whether or not it's a it's a good one. You know, so that's. That's the thing, but you know, Leads Detective is just one tool, but you can use you know anything that you got data with. Uh, a lot of people just have data that they've kicked around, and uh, so um, they've they've got it sitting in a filing cabinet somewhere. <laughs> you know, business data from years ago. Pull that out and go after it and see if you get some of the golden nuggets. Okay, so that's that's the whole that's the whole thing, guys. That's the whole thing. I wanted to present that to you. Now, here's a summary of what you need. Uh, leads, you need Wayback Machine, leadsdetective.com, or some other data source with listings by category and niche. Okay, that's the goal. Okay, the the other tools, you're, you're searching for that term in the domain. Uh, they don't have them divided by category and niche so much. Uh, they have, you know, topical, majestic topicals, but if that's too broad, it doesn't really go right to your um, your category, okay? So you're, you're looking for what other people are not looking for, okay? That's 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 one of the biggest takeaways, okay? Next is you just do a search for domain extractors online. I'm using this one. You can use whatever one you wanna use, okay? But that's, uh, that's the one I'm using to extract them. Then you're just gonna use the GoDaddy. The reason why I use GoDaddy, I don't, you know, some people are not GoDaddy people and that's fine. You don't have to register it through them, but they uh, connect with a whole lot of uh, third parties like Afternic and they, they just have a new one that they just got. And so they're, they're in the domaining business uh, for, you know, with, with domainers. So uh, you'll find things through the domain, uh, go to any auction and all these other places that don't come up with a 404. Okay, so domain or hunter gatherer and some of your scrapers are not going to find these because they're parked. Okay, they have they have content on them. So the reason why I use GoDaddy, this is another takeaway, is because you can find things that are available but are parked. Okay, and uh, so that's what I use. I search, you know, I, I have not found a better one for the price for the Dom Detailer. Uh, to get all of these stats all in one place right in front of your face. Um, that's why I love the Dom Detailer for that, okay? And uh, I, I'm just suggesting Neil Patel's Uber Suggest if you're on a budget, okay? If you've already got the other tools, you're all set. You don't have to uh, do anything else, you know, really. So, um, yeah, so that's that. So, all right. Well, guys, that's that's it. I'm, I I want to take some of your questions. Uh, you can challenge me on any of these things, as uh, I you know I, I I'm open open minded. <laughs> um, you know, one area that I think I could be challenged on a little bit is uh, trademarks. Uh, I haven't suggested that you check against trademarks. Um, that's one thing that I would do. But uh, definitely wanted to you know point this over to you guys and let you take a look at it. All right, uh, George says good points. Um, Jundo says running a, a few right now. Uber suggests is a great tool. Don says uh, Harlan says do you sell domains passively or do you uh, do cold outreach? Ah, great one. 
Um, I actually built Leads Detective just to do cold outreach, okay? Um, I've been busy, obviously, with the software from AskPage Tools, so I haven't been doing it as much, but the reason why I built such a cool search uh, system for business is I'm looking for sending emails out to businesses that have similar domains, okay? And that's why I have such a, uh, a cool way to search by the actual domain name or by niche or all that kind of stuff. So um, I used to do more of the uh, cold outreach, but then, you know, people get mad that you're, you're sending them, a, a, you know, unsolicited email. So I don't do that a whole lot. I'll tell you what I have done. Um, there's two marketplaces that I belong to that I um, enjoy. One is undeveloped.com, which is now dan.com. Um, I put things parked on there and then I also put them on after Nick, uh, which is through GoDaddy. So anytime somebody does a search on GoDaddy for a domain that's similar, mine will get recommended. Okay. And so, uh, it'll, it, it'll so, show up as one that they can buy. And I, I don't price them ridiculously. Like, you know, if they have metrics, obviously I have to put a bigger price tag on it, but uh, I, I typically go between $200 and $500 on a domain, and they just sell on their own. Um, I never pay for, you know, the 400 domains that I have. There has not been a, I was surprised to say the last six years, I haven't actually paid for domains because they the price that I make uh, by selling them uh, pretty much equals what I have uh, in my inventory. So um, that's why I do it. It's a, it's a little ho hobby. Some people collect baseball cards and you know stuff. I collect domains and uh, I, I flip them. So somebody said, uh, can Leeds Detective do this or Geoholics? Um, Geoholics does not have domain names, but Leeds Detective certainly does, as we just showed. Um, and so that's, that's cool. Ed says, nice job. Pretty cool, Stephen says. Um, what is the uh, George says? What is the most important Golden Nuggets metric to check? Okay, um, I like a few things. I like page authority because typically that shows more potential than domain authority. Sometimes I'll see a, a weak domain authority, um, but the but I might be searching with this tool on uh okay let's just put it this way the person that owned it before might have had some of the domains uh, urls going to www so i might have been going to the root domain so i'm like okay i'm looking for um you know things like trust flow obviously i'm looking for page authority i look at those two numbers and i look at like if there's facebook shares that's even that's great too i like that um and i also like uh Ahrefs uh, domain ranks uh, DR um, to look at. So those are my those are my favorite ones. Um, I just see that sometimes domain authority can be a little stingy on some pretty good domains. Uh, that's why I don't go just by DR. Um, I, but I do like Majestic's uh, analysis. It's pretty good. Um, all right, just looking through more questions. Go ahead and put your questions in the box if you have any questions about domaining, about these expired domains. Um, anything that you want to discuss, we can do that. John Doe says, uh, looks like you have a lot of domains, Chrome extensions, and tabs. Uh, do you build out the domains? Yes, I, I build out any domain that uh, I need to because I'm, you know, that's that's my thing. Um, I, I have flipped domains. Harlan asked if I flip the domains. Um, yeah, not, you know, with, with mass page, I do the HTML output. Um, then I don't have any licensing issues, uh, with mass page uh, or magic page plugin. Cause you, you can't really flip the license with that unless you have the agency plan. Um, but I, I make an HTML version, which you can do easily with my uh, template that I just put in the group. And, um, you know, send out a, a site that will just get ranking and traffic. And then you can show the stats and flip it on Flippa or somewhere else. Okay. Um, but, yeah, I do have a lot of Chrome tabs. You're right. Um, a lot of, lot of extensions and things like that. Um, 
So Susan says uh, these days just similar to niche or can they be totally off just supporting sites or PBNs? Okay, so yeah, that's that's where I fall on this is that um, it's so easy to get a high trust flow domain. If you're just fast, Johnny on the spot, expireddomains.net, you could get the highest trust flow as soon as they get released um, and grab it. And it could be on any topic with all kinds of spammy backlinks. That's easy, okay? not recommended pretty much a waste of time money um to me on niche is where it's at permanency is where it's at if the links have a permanent flavor to them like they're not something that's that's just gonna disappear like one of the things i look for is if it's a lot of press releases okay a lot of times press releases don't last very long out there they might last 90 days or so but they start to fall off okay so you're looking for like directories and DMOs and like, you know, things that are like, that's been around a long time and that it has a history with those. Like go back to the, uh, uh, if you got the Majestic um, backlink history, okay? And you can see, wow, these, these, these links have been there for a while, okay? And so they have that permanency that I'm looking for. I'm looking for relevancy and permanency on those, uh, on those backlinks, okay? So that's the nugget for that takeaway there, okay? Now, just I'm gonna ask the people that are on this call, how many people knew that, uh, tell me yes or no, that you knew that Wayback Machine had the keyword search and if used it before, but yes or no, and I'm gonna feel like an idiot. Oh, really, no? Oh. <laughs> Good. I don't feel like an idiot. Now, I, I, I looked at that and I was like, how long has this been here? I, I was like, this is like the search engine I've been looking for all these years. Yeah, I feel better now, Terry, for sure, Stephen. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I've been looking for the way back machine of Google for a long time. Um, I'm looking for a way to search Google. And, and you can try that. There's um, some advanced features that you can look back and Google uh, with advanced searches, and I've played around with that, but I never get, I, I never get those deep links of uh, stuff that you just can't find anywhere. Like I'm looking for stuff that people have forgotten about, but the backlinks are still out there. Okay, and uh, yeah, Susan says we thought, oh, good, awesome. I, I appreciate that. Um, George says, um, I see you can take 50 domains there. Yeah, I, I put it to 500, but I think it only does like 50 at a time. Yeah, um, that's why if you have a database or you have Lead Simplify, you could try that first because, you know, um, yeah, 16,000 versus 50, it'll it'll speed up your process uh, quite a bit. Um, Leads Detective, uh, Harlan was asking, that's, that's updated every single day. It's constantly getting a flow of data uh, into it. So it keeps getting more and more every day. Um, if you guys don't have, how many people don't have Leads Detective but would like it? Um, let me know if you would like Leads Detective but don't have access to it um, through uh, the enterprise plan. Uh, let's see, so uh, Chris, Susan says, uh, so out of the ones in GoDaddy, that match the niche, are you using to just buy all of them besides the super pricey ones? Um, no, I wouldn't buy all of them. I'm looking for one or two or you know three. So uh, I'm not I'm not looking to grab all of them. So um, so Sasso says I don't have LD, but would love to learn more. Thank you. Um, okay, and no access, Valerie. All right, um, what I was gonna do is uh, give you guys a coupon code. Let me see if I can do that while you guys throw, throw more questions in there and let me see if I can get a, a coupon code for Leads Detective sorted out for you guys. I think I put it on the screen when I was building it, but um, it's LD50X. Um, so I'm just gonna copy this. And I don't know if, if I put this in here, send to all. 
Do you guys see the, uh, let me know yes or no if you can see the link that I put in there for Leads Detective to get 50% off. Um, I put it inside of the chat and not the question and answers, but in the chat. Uh, Susan says no, John Doe says yes. Um, take a look at the chat box on go to webinar. Okay, yes, it's there. Okay. So if you if you don't have enterprise and you wanted to get lease detective, um, like I said, it's updated every single day. Um, it's 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 constantly getting a flow of of uh, all these different data sources. We currently have six different data sources that it pulls from, so uh, it's constantly getting new data. And the only difference between the plans are uh, how many rows of data you get. Okay, we we don't have that on here, but the first plan gives you 4,000 rows of data, okay? The second plan, let me just let me show you the plans here. Um, the second plan does 10,000 rows of data at a time. So that means when you do a CSV output, you can get 10,000 rows uh, with the second plan, which is normally $97 a month, okay? And then the enterprise plan, which comes free with the enterprise with MassPage tools, you get 100,000 rows of data, which will hardly ever happen for you. That you know, depending on how broadly you search, obviously. Um, um, but yeah, that's that's uh, Leads Detective. It's a really cool program. I, I bit like I said, I built it for myself for selling domains and for doing outreach for digital marketing. And then I decided to share it with you guys um, before I launched it out to the public. So we're just now getting ready to launch it out with the public. Uh, Mike, Mike is gonna um, do a, a webinar on it soon, I believe. So um, you know, it's it's here. If uh, you guys want to jump on it before he has that, okay. And uh, you, this is uh, something you can access if if it's going to help you. But like I said, if you have other places where you have your data. And it's you know it's fresh, constantly you know refilling itself. Then you're you're all set. You don't need this. Um, we just wanted to make sure that you had something to think about um, to you know to to get access to it. I was looking for another tool to kind of show you because uh, you know I I didn't want this to be the only option, but I the only one I like I said the only one I thought was, was okay was Salesfully, but it didn't have near as much as Leads Detective does. So um, that's why I didn't recommend it. Um, yeah, uh, somebody asked, Harlan says, is Mike uh, Martin still active in paper call? He used to drive thousands of calls per month. Um, I think he turned that over to his brother, that, that particular part of his business, so he could concentrate on the software, um, as far as I understand. Uh, Mike and I are good friends, and he, he tells me these kinds of things, but... Um, yeah, I think he's mentioned that on the webinars as well that um, he's had his brother manage that end of the business, the uh, paper call part of it um, in the locksmith niche. All right. Wow, a lot of great questions, a lot of great participation. Really appreciate this. Now, don't forget um, tomorrow night we will be on, uh, Stephen and I, uh, five o'clock Eastern time for our regular Sunday live where we uh, take questions and uh, have a little bit of goofy fun and, um, you know, hopefully you guys enjoy the little banter and stuff that we do um, and kind of, you know, talk about mass page, SEO, all that good stuff. The other thing is, is uh, Craig Campbell SEO. If you've never seen Craig Campbell, he's a badass SEO with attitude in, in uh, the UK. And um, uh, he is good friends with Chris Palmer, who I have a total lot of respect for as Chris. and. Um, Chris is going to, uh, Chris hooked me up with, um, um, uh, Chris, uh, Campbell. And so I'll be doing a, um, um, podcast episode with Chris Campbell and he's going to share it on his YouTube channel too. So it's a whole lot of exposure because he has 60,000 on his YouTube and he has a ton on his podcast. So if you check out his podcast or consume that, uh, or if you consume his stuff on uh, YouTube, um, you'll get a chance to see me talk a little bit more about mass page. So kind of spreading out there. Uh, if you guys know anybody else we should be talking to, let me know. And uh, we'll we'll get out there and, and kind of talk to these people and 
get them exposed to uh, MassPage. A lot of people, you know, turned a blind eye to MassPage because they don't understand how to make it work with today's algorithms. And uh, I, I've been very blessed and lucky that uh, the, the the methods that I've been doing for a while uh, have kept my sites very strong and doing very well for a long time. So uh, I, I have, have I done, you know, spam <laughs> and non-effective? Yes. And I've learned from those and uh, you you find out what works and what doesn't. And so I'd like to pass that along to people and help you, help people out um, so that they can have you know, successful um, landing pages that uh, that uh, bring in traffic and serve the uh, user. So um, thanks, George. George says, uh, congrats on your coming interview with Craig Campbell. Yeah, see you tomorrow again. <laughs> yeah, the weekends, you know, I, I, I have a busy, busy week uh, every week. So um, with all the projects I'm involved in. So sometimes you don't see or hear from me too much during the week, but that's why I worked on the weekends to you know catch you guys up on what we're doing. And it's the end of our development cycle. So um, I can usually give you some updated stuff. So that's why we do the Sunday live. And uh, it just happens to be a time that I don't get interrupted. So I can always uh, commit to that for you guys. All right, any other questions? Anything else I can do for you guys tonight? Awesome. George says he's going to talk to Holly Starks and arrange an interview. Awesome. That'd be great. Susan says, thanks for the tips. You're welcome, guys. I, I couldn't believe that you guys, too, also did not see that you can search keywords with uh, that. <laughs> I mean, that's going to open up a whole lot of things. But I, I have always used it for just checking the 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 sites in the past. And uh, uh, it's it's really cool to know that you can use it for uh, domaining as well, or for you know finding those uh, those great expired domains with great uh, metrics. Um, so great. Well, I guess uh, yeah, <laughs> I can steal content now. I can steal expired domains. Yeah, that's right, definitely. Um, yeah, you know the, the stealing of content. You know, good content is good whether it's expired or not. So. Um, it's, you know, if you can get good content, no matter how you do it, uh, there's, there's a whole lot of rephrasing technology out there today. There's, you know, we have the siphon tool, which we're always trying to evolve and improve. Um, our, our siphon tool is a little bit different. Currently we're allowing you to, uh, use it and it's, you know, siphon will, um, summarize then rephrase. So it, it'll do both, but we're going to do is, um, I'm going to make it so you can check whether you want it to siphon um, with summary or do direct uh, rephrasing, okay? So you'll be able to just go based on you know the uh, the text and have every sentence just rewritten for you. Um, so we're, we're we're looking to do that. And um, the other thing is is uh, we're going to put a search engine into it, so you'll be able to search Google and it'll find the results and rewrite the the results from those pages. Um, so that's going to be, you know, the evolution of Siphon coming forward. So it, it, it'll be an ever improving um, project. Um, so, and uh, we'll release it eventually as a Siphon.site. A lot of these um, projects, I'm looking to sort of build the infrastructure first and have them ready to go, get some people testing them and try them out like this leads detective, you know, with geoholics, things like that, get people trying them out. And then we can improve them, then release them out to people. So um, they're built. They're just, you know, in the in the uh, the growth stage. So uh, ImageFly Harlan um, is is uh, on the back burner right now. Um, we're working on the um, uh, integrations with uh, uh, Traffic Factory, with uh, all these other different Page Generator Pro, and all these other ones. Uh, we want to make sure that we have a few of those ready to go. And then ImageFly, we're going to um, revisit. Um, my developer was just, I think we were having some communication issues with that one. And uh, I wanted to just take a break because I was getting you know, frustrated. It wasn't coming out the way I wanted it to. So a um, bit of a perfectionist and things have to be the certain way or else I, I don't like it. So, um, but that's that. Yeah. Um, anything else, guys? You guys have been terrific. I really appreciate all the great questions and uh, hopefully everybody got some value on this. 
it's kind of a fun fun topic for me to talk about um i i enjoy it and it's sort of like you know you really it is if if you if you're looking for collectibles or you're looking for something of you know uh if you're fishing or uh you know looking for the specific something and you're and you like the 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 hunt this is what this is for me hunting for domains and hunting for something that has um a good background uh you know digital real estate that's what it really is so all right guys i think we're going to call it a evening morning wherever you are and uh hopefully uh hopefully we see you tomorrow on our uh, sunday live all right we'll talk to you guys later bye